When I started as an elected official in 1975, there were people who wouldn't even say the word gay. Politicians would not say the word gay for fear that it would come back to haunt them politically. And boy, have we come a long way uh, since that time. And, uh, and it's, it's a tribute to the people in the gay and lesbian community and the LGBT community who have made the sacrifice so that this generation and future generations could be able to function as equal partners in our society. There are a lot of people who paid us a very dear price uh, for this generation to be able to do that, including the man in whose name the award I'm receiving tonight is given, Rand Schrader, who I knew so well through the, through the Gay and Lesbian Center and his role there and, and as a judge. And, uh, and like so many other friends of mine in the gay community, was taken far too soon by AIDS. In the larger community, we just don't seem to have a fighting chance now that with Citizen United, we're just outgunned or out money. Yeah. I mean, what's what's going on? Well, what's, what's I wish I wish I knew what was going on. I, you know, I don't uh, I don't ever remember anything like this. This amount of money uh, on all sides, by the way, uh, being thrust into. Uh, into political campaigns. I could have never won my first election under these rules. Um, and and the, 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 the insidious part of it is you don't even know who's, who's funding these campaigns. There's so many ways to hide it. And the whole post-Watergate reforms that took place in this country were to make sure that the public, if they were interested in knowing where the money was coming from, that they would know. We're back to pre-Watergate days. In fact, in the Watergate era, this kind of money, nobody would have dreamt of spending this kind of money. So, it's uh, it's going to it's going to corrupt the system. There is no question about it. Over time and and over the last four years, it's already corrupted the system. I mean, is there any hope for getting back? Again? Well, uh, the the hope is that that uh, we'll get a Supreme Court that will act rationally and not be tools of special interests. Uh, this Supreme Court, more often than not, on political finance issues are carrying the, the handbags of all the lobbyists and the corporate interests of this country. I have no problem with the corporate interests having their say, but they can't drown out everybody else's say. And uh, that's that's the danger to our democracy. You think Hillary can uh, turn things around? And well, so first she's got to run. and. Uh, uh, I don't think it's going to be any one person. I don't think it's going to be any one president. I think it's got to come from the grassroots up. And that's one of the lessons I've learned over the years, that the big reforms that have been made, whether it's locally, statewide, or nationally, have come from the ground up. It hasn't come from the top down. And if it comes from the top down and there isn't grassroots support, it won't. it's not sustainable. But if it comes from the ground up, it's almost imperative that the political establishment respond. We've seen it on gay marriage. I think that's, you know, not just for the gay community, but on any political issue or human rights issue, I think uh, that issue shows what the power of, of education and of common sense can do when it is driven by the grassroots. So we all have to stay active and don't leave it to anybody else. It's our responsibility. Thank you very okay, much. Okay, my pleasure.